Welcome everyone to Dan's Diary and the Hops and Brews Beer Garden review in Subic. Plenty of parking, as you can see, it's on a nice little road. Today's special, grilled salmon served with mashed potato and steamed veg. So let's go inside and see what it's like. Uh, the very knowledgeable beer ladies. Now they've got a wine cellar. So this is the wine. <laughs> oh dear, you'd never get tired of this place, would you? Look at that. Look at that, all those barrels full of beer. Yes. Goodness me. It's very attractive, this place. Yeah, it happens I've never been to one of those meetings. These are relatively informal ex-army venues. So every two weeks on a Monday morning, we hate a Nice seating. Big telly. Bit of pool. I think there's a, hang on, there's a garden at the back as well. Let's have a look outside. Thank you, thank you. Whoa, 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 look at this. <laughs> Look at that. Freshly made food, seating arrangements, nice tables, clean area, area for a live band, seating arrangements at the front, and a bar to die for. Look at that. Just look at that. Everything you could want. Well, we've got Magnus cider, obviously. Something I've never seen before, that one. Crazy Carabao Pale Ale. Crazy Caribou IPA. Two Ho Gardens. A Bud and a Stella. Yes, we may have to try something here. Hmm. <laughs> right, explain please. Oh, you want me to explain? Yeah, I do. This is a Belgian idea. It's called a beer flight. We serve 150 ml glasses. You can choose the beers, any choice of any five beers that you want. You can have a little taster. Perhaps you finish the beer flight and want to do another beer flight for some more of our beers, or you can choose one that you particularly like and have another pint of that. That's a beer flight. Right, what's your recommendation for the beers? I need to know what you like first. Do you, do you like lagers? Uh, yes. And you, you're obviously a man of my age, so you, <laughs> so you like a traditional English style beer. Yeah, sure. Okay, so obviously, Everybody knows the rice beer, Budweiser. We won't talk about that. But we have three Belgian beers here. Stella Artois, or Wife Beater, as we all know. We have the wheat beer. Ho Garden, yeah. Ho Garden. And for the ladies, we have a 3% Rosé Ho Garden, which is, which is basically a raspberry beer. Yeah, okay. I've tried the... Crazy Carabao started off in the Philippines, run by a Australian gentleman as a, a craft brewery it has been so successful that it is now mass producing beer but it's still of very good quality a nice traditional ipa a very traditional pale ale and a local cider which is very unusual next door we have the standard filipino beers because everybody likes a filipino beer the san miguel draft and the san miguel light and lastly in this bar we have an irish magnus Cut, we'll go to the front bar. <laughs> Interesting story about Czech Bar is that the tap is actually at the front. Czech Bar is the, was the original Czechoslovakian Budvar, which you can still buy in some places. That then got exported, or the, the idea got taken to America, which produced the American Budweiser. A number King of beers. So called, yeah. it's made out of rice, it's yeah. not the king of beers. <laughs> what happened was the original Budvar started 
to mass produce and come out of Czechoslovakia. You used to be able to buy, buy the pint bottles mm -hmm. in the UK and stuff. And House of Boot, who originally yeah. owned Budweiser, sued Budvar and made them change their name. So it's now sold internationally as Czech Bar instead of Budvar. So that's the original Budweiser. Thank you very much. Yeah. So that's the selection on the bar. Check something before I talk to you. <laughs> Take, <Maybe>. two. <laughs> Take two. Take two, yeah. Take two. Encanto beer is a small craft brewery. It's um, based in Cavite, south of uh, Manila. Um, international, world award-winning beers that have won gold medals, silver medals and wow. bronze medals on more than one occasion. Um, it's a very modern style of beer. So they have, inf they say they have infused flavors as you can see on the bottles on their labels. Although it is very, very, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, very subtle flavors. So what have we got? Um, Danny, so working from the left, we have choco nuts. Choco nuts. That sounds unusual, but it's an extremely good, it's one of my favorite beers, I drink it. It's a very traditional stout. Um, you'll have familiar flavors from Murphy's, Guinness, these sort of things. The next one along is lager. I think it's called Live It Up Lager, to give it a young twist, but it is a Typical Pilsner style lager, very well worth a try. Probably the best seller in the bar, I think. Certainly, mm. certainly in the top two or three sellers. Mm. The next one, Danny. Mango Nation. Sounds strange, <laughs> but it has got hints of mango, mango. especially on the nose, mm. not so much on the taste, but it makes it's almost like a good ale. You get fruitiness in an ale, you're getting fruitiness in a lager, which is very unusual. The next one? Green lava. Green lava. Green? Yeah, it's double IPA. That's the double IPA. It's 8%? Yeah, 8%. It's an 8% double hot lager. Oh, sorry, ale. Um, takes a brave man to go through for a couple of bites of that one. Uh, but an extremely good beer. Next one? Honey ale. Honey ale, which Honey. I described earlier. It's a very, very old traditional English style of brewing where they use honey rather than sugar and it makes for a very smooth beer. Too easy to drink. What's the percentage of the honey ale these days? 5.1. 5.1. So you could have a session for that. And then lastly, the ube lager. It's purple. Purple. No, it's not. Yeah, it's purple. Yeah. But it tastes like the I do. I do not drink it. <laughs> it's got hints of, of the local ube. local ube. Yeah. Yeah. Purple, yeah. Purple, yeah. 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 So it's like a, a sweet potato. Yes. Yeah. It's got hints of sweet potato. Filipinos put ube in everything. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> you can get it in bread, <laughs> ice, ice cream, cream. Ice cream. Yeah. <laughs> um, not for me, but some people yeah. do like yeah. it. Thank you very much. I'll try. Yeah, so good. Um, one off. Yeah. 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 I have to get a medium. It's somewhere in there. Medium well. Yes, I think. They could play four or nine, haven't you? Of a live band outside. Do you recommend medium? We'll have to see for them. All right, I'll go with that. Yep, all right. Take your word. How much do you drink? Right, the menu here is. Um, Stunningly superb. Um, it really is stunningly superb. So we've ordered four different foods, so we'll see what we get. We've tried all the tasters. We've ordered some pints. There's the lovely bar hostess. Uh, what are you after? Are you after something now? No. Oh, you've got. You've got. And then with your. Food. Food. food and three beers. How about you? Am I the only one? Yes. Yeah. Um, can I go sure. for the chocolate one at the end? Chocolate. What? what kind of beer do I have? I don't remember. One's uh, Crazy Carabao IPA, one pint. Crazy right? Carabao. Yes. One chocolate IPA. Uh, Choco nut, that's me. Pint. Yes. Am I right? Yep. Honey ale. Honey, honey ale for Mike. Can I have half of this again, please? 
have pint you have uh, rose oh garden rose her cup okay one pint small pint for us oh i'm driving very remember very 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 thank you very much uh, okay. you don't have um if anyone wants to stay overnight, do you have any um, hotel affiliates? In front of it. That one? Yeah. No, the, uh, the Bella Monte. Uh, okay, How about a uh, 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 sleeping bag in a tent? <laughs> <laughs> I told you in the back of your truck, but you gotta be at night because uh, your, your back of your truck is too hot. <laughs> yeah. So, Michael, you've ordered the honey flavour. What's the percentage uh, alcohol? 5%. 5.1? 5.1. just been. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Jeff, uh, Jeff, yes. Jeff, 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 yes. uh, Jeff, you've ordered the IPA. IPA. Hey. What's the specific gravity? I have no idea. No idea. Uh, Joy, you, you've got yours in a hoe garden glass. Rosé hoe garden. Rosé hoe garden. I've gone for a chocolate. I've gone. I've gone for a choco nut. Um, yeah, so uh, happy drinking, everybody. Michael, what did you order? Classic burger. Oh, very nice. So, Jeff, what did you order? I have a shrimp burrito. Shrimp burrito. Joy, what did you order? Lechon kawali. A what? Lechon Kawali. Lechon yeah. Hawaiian. Yeah. Kawali. Kawali. Yeah, it's a fr fried pork belly. Ooh, that's better than the dodgy fish and chips I, <laughs> I ordered last ordered week, didn't I? No, you ordered fish and chips as well this oh, time. I did order fish and chips. <laughs> now, just look at that. The presentation is a million times better than what we've had so far, isn't it, gentlemen? No, no not, not tonight. It comes to not tonight. scoring. Um, now, I'm going to go around the table. Um, I'll give my score last, if you don't mind. Yeah. So, um, let's start with Michael. And uh, Michael, um, give me your score of... Uh, What's the name of this place? Uh, the Beer Garden. The Beer Garden in Hops Subic. Hops and Brews. Hops, Hops and Brews. Hops and Brews oh, Beer I'm Garden. Sorry, so, um, Hops and Brews, right. we're talking ambience, we're talking beer selection, which we know is fantastic, is and staff? with staff, yeah, yeah. Uh, owner, 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 and, and food and friendliness. Yeah. What's your opinion? 10 out of 10. Oh, a 10. That's okay. A 10. Jeff, give me your opinion, my friend. If there's such thing as 10 and a half, <laughs> I'll go 10 and a half. So would... You know, the, the ambience, the place, the stuff, you know, it, it's, it, it surprised me. It's yeah. very rare in yeah. the Philippines um, you get something lo uh, as westernized uh, as this. Yeah, or anywhere else. I mean, you know, i never been all over the place, but here, like, you know, uh, U.S., I mean, this is like, this is way better than what I've seen on this part. Joy, mm. what's your opinion, my, my dear? 9.9. 9. 9.9! <laughs> 9. It's because this should be nearer to us. <laughs> if this is in Batangas, then. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, there, that. there yeah. you yeah. go. I think. Well, is this recording? <laughs> yes. Um, nine point nine from Joy. A ten from Jeff. A ten. Ten and a half. Ten and a half from uh, Jeff. A ten from uh, Michael. I, 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 I can't find anything wrong with this um it's an absolutely stunning pub the food is 
excellent. The beer selection is excellent. Um, so much so, we've had a word with the owners about doing our my birthday, Joy's birthday, our child's 21st birthday party um, here. So, uh, absolutely stunning. I'm going to give it a 10. I can't give it any less. It's absolutely stunning. You have to visit this place if you go to the Philippines. So, uh, what have you... Uh, what have you got there, Jeff? The, the, my favorite, a carrot, carrot cake. Carrot? Yeah. Carrot cake. Uh, Joy, what have you got there? Key lime pie. My Key. first time trying it and it's really, 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 really nice. Really nice key lime pie. <laughs> Apple crumble for me. Well, I think that's a resounding success on that pub. Um, I think you won't be disappointed if you. I'm not even sponsored by this place, so uh, I, I think we've peaked too early. Three um, reviews in, and th this is it. Enjoy yourself, have a lovely time, take care.